The rumors around Sony's next big release in the professional video camera world are steadily building, with many speculating that a new successor to the Sony FX9 might be on the horizon. Trusted sources suggest that this next-generation camera could be unveiled in late summer 2024, though details remain scarce. In the meantime, let's have a clear discussion of what we might expect from the Sony FX9 II and how it could compare to its predecessor, the original Sony FX9. The Anticipated Upgrades The Sony FX9, a popular choice among professional videographers and filmmakers, has been lauded for its impressive 6K full-frame Exmor RCMOS sensor, offering an impressive 15 stops of dynamic range and the ability to record DCI 4K and UHD 4K up to 60p with features like Quad Full HD 120p RAW recording and HD recording up to 180fps. The FX9 has set a high standard in the world of cinema cameras. However, the expected Sony FX9 II is poised to raise the bar even higher. One of the most exciting rumored upgrades for the FX9 II is the inclusion of a new 8.7 meters pixel size DCI 4K HD RBSI sensor, which is set to replace the existing IMX410 sensor. This advanced sensor is anticipated to enhance low-light performance and overall image quality, potentially offering a picture quality comparable to the ARRI Alexa. The new sensor is expected to support up to DCI 4K 120p recording with XOCN, a significant leap from the FX9's capabilities. Additionally, the FX9 II is rumored to support multi-base ISO settings, which would allow for greater flexibility in varying lighting conditions and potentially offer improved dynamic range and color accuracy. This could make the FX9 II an even more versatile tool for capturing stunning visuals in both controlled and challenging environments. FX9 vs FX9 II The Changes while the original Sony FX9 has set a high benchmark with its robust feature set, the FX9 II is expected to push these boundaries further. Here's a closer look at how the two models compare based on the current rumors and available information. Sensor and Image Quality The FX9 features a 6K full-frame Exmor RCMOS sensor with 15 stops of dynamic range. The FX9 II is anticipated to upgrade to a new 8.7 meters pixel size DCI 4K HD RBSI sensor, which could deliver even better image quality and performance, particularly in low light conditions. Recording capabilities The FX9 supports DCI 4K and UHD 4K recording up to 60p, with Quad Full HD 120p RAW and HD recording up to 180fps. The FX9 II is expected to offer enhanced recording options, including up to DCI 4K 120p recording with XOCN through an external recorder, potentially offering more flexibility and higher quality output. ISO and Dynamic Range The FX9 provides a dual base ISO up to 102.4 centering in HLG mode. The FX9 II is rumored to include multi-base ISO settings, which could improve performance across a wider range of lighting conditions and offer enhanced dynamic range and color reproduction. Design and Ergonomics While specific details on the design changes are still under wraps, we can expect the FX9 II to build upon the ergonomic design of the FX9, with potential improvements in user interface, handling, and overall build quality. The addition of new features or adjustments based on user feedback could further enhance its usability for professional applications. Release Date Sony's 2024 roadmap hints at more than just the FX9 II. According to sources, a new alpha camera body is expected in late summer, possibly the A7S IV, followed by another alpha camera body later in the year. There's even a small chance of an additional Sony camera release in November, though this remains unconfirmed. As we wait for official announcements, the speculation and rumors about the Sony FX9 II continue to stir excitement. With significant potential upgrades on the horizon, 
the FX92 promises to be a powerful tool for cinematographers and video professionals. Stay tuned for more updates as we approach the rumored announcement period and keep an eye on our channels for more latest news. In the meantime, if you have any insider information or additional details, drop it in the comment section below and thanks for watching.